Chachma Shaloma, Wisdom of Solomon, 13. Surely vain are all men by nature, who are ignorant of Elohim, and could not out of the good things that are seen know him that is, neither by considering the works did they acknowledge the workmaster, but deemed either fire or wood or the swift air or the circle of the stars or the violent water or the lights of heaven to be the Elohim which govern the world, with whose beauty, if they being delighted, took them to be Elohim. Let them know how much better Yahuwah of them is, for the first author of beauty has created them. But if they were astonished at their power and virtue, let them understand by them how much mightier he is that made them. For by the greatness and beauty of the creatures, proportionably the maker of them is seen. But yet for this they are the less to be blamed, for they perchance err, seeking Elohim, and desirous to find him. For being conversant in his works, they search him diligently and believe their sight, because the things are beautiful that are seen. Howbeit, neither are they to be pardoned. For if they were able to know so much that they could aim at the world, how did they not sooner find out Yahuwah thereof? But miserable are they, and in dead things is their hope, who call them Elohim, which are the works of men's hands, gold and silver, to show art in, and resemblances of beasts, or a stone good for nothing, the work of an ancient hand. Now a carpenter that fells timber, after he has sawn down a tree, might rather now a carpenter that fells timber, after he has sawn down a tree, meet for the purpose, and taken off all the bark, skillfully round about, and has wrought it handsomely, and made a vessel thereof, fit for the service of man's life. And after spending the refuse of his work to dress his meat, has filled himself, and taking the very refuse among those which served to no use, being a crooked piece of wood and full of knots, has carved it diligently when he had nothing else to do and formed it by the skill of his understanding and fashioned it to the image of a man or made it like some vile beast, laying it over with vermilion and with paint, coloring it red and covering every spot therein. And when he had made a covenant room for it, set it in a wall, and made it fast with iron. For he provided for it that it might not fall, knowing that it was unable to help itself. For it is an image, and has need of help. Then makes he prayer for his goods, for his woman and children, and is not ashamed to speak to that which has no life. For health, he calls upon that which is weak. For life, prays to that which is dead. For aid, humbly beseeches that which has least means to help. And for a good journey, he asks of that which cannot set a foot forward. And for gaining and getting, and for good success of his hands, asks ability to do of him that is most unable to do anything.